the situation in Ukraine by the end of September 27. Border Territories of the Russian Federation The armed forces of Ukraine fired at residential buildings in the village of Zibarovka, Belgorod region, there were no casualties among civilians. Kharkiv Direction The situation on this sector of the front remains tense. The units of the armed forces of Ukraine continue their offensive in the direction of the village of Tavolzanka. According to some reports, there are fierce battles for the Kapyansk Kozlovaya station on the eastern bank of the Askol River. At night, the RF armed forces attacked critical infrastructure facilities in Kharkov, as a result of which the city had problems with electricity supply. Also, Russian troops worked on targets in western Kapyansk, Pervomaysky, and Monokhinovka. Lehman Direction Ukrainian units made an unsuccessful attempt to storm Lehman from Ozerny and Shukovo. At the same time, the armed forces of Ukraine managed to gain a foothold in the villages of Novo and Katerinivka. On the northern flank, Ukrainian formations are attacking the positions of the Allied forces in the area of the village of Zelenaya Delina, seeking to further reach the rear of the units of the Russian armed forces defending Lehman. To the east of Lehman, the enemy was able to break through to Yampol and Torskoy in mobile groups in cars. To the west, Another attempt by the armed forces of Ukraine to establish control over the village of Drobyshevo failed. Russian forces repelled all enemy attacks on Novoslovka and Chandragolovo. On the southern flank, the Ukrainian command is transferring additional forces to the northern bank of the Seversky Donets, replenishing the losses in equipment and manpower suffered from the battles, and is preparing Ukrainian units for an active offensive in this direction. The offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine from the southern and western flanks carries the threat of blocking the only remaining supply route for the Allied forces along the svatovo makevka turny Lehman Road. The Russian command continues to make attempts to hold down the advance of the enemy in order to strengthen the defense and stabilize the front. Artillery duels continue along the entire line of contact. Bakhmut Direction In the south of Bakhmut Fierce battles between Wagner PMC assault units and Ukrainian servicemen continue in the village of Oterdovka. At the same time, the Wagnerites are advancing on enemy positions in Zaitsevo. Luhansk Direction Ukrainian formations using HIMARS MLRS fired at residential and administrative buildings in Olchevsk and Bryanka. Donetsk Direction The armed forces of Ukraine are concerting forces on the western sector of the front for a second offensive on the positions of the Allied forces in Marinka. Fighting continues in the vicinity of the village of Prechistovka. The Allied forces attacked enemy manpower, equipment and facilities in Zolotyaneva, Vugaldar, Pavlovka, and Yegorovka. In turn, the Ukrainian formations launched numerous attacks on the Donetsk agglomeration. Donetsk, Mineralny, Gorlovka and Novobikmatovka were hit by missiles. Zaporoshe Direction the Ukrainian command is pulling armored vehicles and manpower to the area of Ozdvizhenka and Gulyaypol for a further attack on the positions of Russian troops. The units of the armed forces of Ukraine made another failed attempt to attack the positions of Russia in the Nestoryanka area, as a result of which the Ukrainian units suffered significant losses and retreated to their original positions. Russia worked out in places of deployment and command posts of opponents in Zaporoshe, Novoselki, Poltivka, Stepnogorsk, and Shevchenko. Kherson Direction Russian bomber aircraft throughout the night carried out strikes with fabs on the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine in the gut. The contingent of the armed forces of Ukraine practically did not remain in the area due to the heaviest losses, more than 500 killed and wounded, in manpower and equipment. The surviving Ukrainian formations urgently left their positions in all settlements, except for Andreyevka. Only artillery gunners remained in Belogorka, Trying to save their lives. Ukrainian soldiers left the bodies of the dead and dozens of wounded to their fate. Currently, the command of the armed forces of Ukraine is regrouping forces. Two companies from the reserve arrived in Beresnagovity. They are planned to be sent to Sukhoi Stavok, which has already become a cemetery for Ukrainian personnel and equipment. 